Yes, welcome to your best post show ever, brought to you by Twisted Tea. We're joined by both riders, and they're having Twisted Tea. Marshall Welton, welcome aboard. And the Brick, Brandon Hartraft, still aboard. Um, we'll actually, in like a time-space continuum warp, we'll talk to you about your race from an interview you did earlier, later. So forget about your race. And you also did it, so forget about your race. So just tell me this, dude. Like, Just tell me about like the atmosphere at High Point. These fans seemed pumped up, and the track seemed awesome, and the weather was all good, dude. Yeah, it's it's uh it's interesting. I got this weird accent. Everyone, you can it's like it's a mix between New Jersey, and Pennsylvania, West Around here, Virginia. Yeah. Like yes. you don't know what you're gonna get. It's uh it's definitely some passionate fans though. Look, you're from Michigan. You live in South Carolina, and you lived in Europe, so you're probably all messed up too. I'm not right for sure. <laughs> oh lord. Um, yeah. You do you have laps here? Did you at least show up at High Point as a kid? Uh, I raced regionals, but dude, the fans on the East Coast compared to the West Coast, hey, not the same. No. East Coast, East Coast way better. I actually heard Cairoli was, like, not stoked on the fans. And then when he took off today, they were air horns. So I was like, all right, cool, because my man's a legend. You know, you got to show him respect. Yeah. Unfortunately, I think he's going to make it a red bud where he really would have gotten saluted. Um, hey, by the way, are you are – you, how are you feeling, dude? You got, like, pep in your step now that you're on this team, Marsh. I'm, I'm yeah, feeling super peppy, but I'm shot at the moment. Um, oh, Ray, okay. says, take it out of here. I just need, like <laughs> – I, mean, I, feel, I feel like it's true. You get older, and it's like my recovery time just keeps getting longer and longer. Uh, but, yeah, I'm, I'm definitely, like, extra motivated. Uh, every team's been awesome. So, cool. same run around. Team's great. Bike's great. Yeah. Everything's great. It's amazing. Yeah, but compared to out of a van and stuff, yeah. it is great. Uh, we're going to get to the post-race press conference. It was about as good a day of racing as you could possibly get. We have four winners and four races in the 450 class. I don't even know if that's the headline story because suddenly Ryan Dungey, like, speaking of a time-space warp continuum, the dude was battling Ken Roxon for third. Legend. So I was out there racing. It was like, literally, one to go. All I hear is, Dungy got Roxon. And I'm thinking. You're hearing this on a speaker? Why are you riding? And I'm thinking, like, uh, that's insane. Like, I'm literally moto, like, a minute and 30 seconds behind. Like, my man's about to get on the podium. for 13 plays. And like, damn, Dungy's going to do it, yo. Like, nice. <laughs> the things we find out. About us, we're, we're doing our own thing in the back, you know. We're, we're working. Yeah, cheer on Dunge, everybody. Uh, let's get to our podium. Uh, Jason Anderson salvages third. Chase Sexton splits motos with uh, Tomac. That's your top three. Uh, Lawrence Brothers again. It's their show in the 250 class. Let's talk to those guys. Um, today was all right. Like <laughs> I'm happy with the the podium, um, considering my body uh, sickness. But um, the main thing was the start. Uh, I got a two good start. Put myself in the front. Um, struggle on the track a little bit, but still, like having a good start is a is a big thing to me. So I think that kind of helped me to get to here. Yeah, it was a good one. Obviously, me and Jet went one two, uh, first one, and then two one uh, for me for the second one. So it was cool. It was tough. It could. It was a it was a coin toss in that last one. Honestly, it was so close. And track was uh, it was tough today. It was it was more like not flowing and stuff like that it wasn't a traditional high point i don't think so it was a tough one you know the track was was gnarly and it wasn't easy to flow so it was literally a 35 minute sprint that last moto from from the gate drop we were sprinting the whole the whole moto so it was uh i think pretty cool to watch you know third place was 36 seconds behind us and you know i set the fastest lap time of the race on the last lap is when i when i did it so it was cool. Uh, I'll get him back next time. There'll be another time for sure, and there's going to be many more good motos just like that one. I think it's cool. It's the, the race uh, everyone's been wanting to see for, for a long time. So, um, Yeah, it, the, the track was – it was a fun tr layout. Like, the track's fun, but the main line was the, always the fastest, and it was pretty one line, and whenever – like in that second one, thankfully I had energy, not like last weekend where I had nothing, so I was able to fight a bit. But um, whenever like we'd pass in a certain spot, the next lap, if I got Hunter somewhere, and then we would go back to that, like we'd block that light and they can't use it. So it was always kind of playing that, not cat and mouse, but we were smart enough to know where, okay, Hunter got me here. So then that every lap when he was behind me, once I got him back, I would stay to the inside so he couldn't use that line again. So it was a... Uh, it was a fun race to just go back and forth, and we know we can push the limits hard and not be. We can get close to each other, but we know we're technically good enough. 
not to take each other out and and, and our uh, and our race. So I mean, it was uh, it was fun, but very difficult because if you'd have to use a, a passing spot and make sure you make the pass, because otherwise they would know that uh, that you use that spot or uh, that uh, line. Congratulations, you guys, Jet. I find it funny you talk about a little lack of flow when you were the smoothest guy on the track, Hunter jumping across some ruts going to the outside cutting back across the ruts uh really physical on the bike today it seemed like to me uh, a lot of movement a lot of action on the bike and jet was just jet i mean uh laid that thing into the corners made some nice swoopy arcs and made it look really smooth and a lot of flow yeah, for sure i, I barely sweated operator. <laughs> smooth operator all right good man. good for you <laughs> Hey, and, and with that, we're going to end on that note. Hey, what right about there. Joe? We can, we Joe, can like, on these guys. What about, that's a bold statement yeah, saying he was the you. smoothest guy out there. That's a bit of a bold statement. Man, that's like, he was. There, he was in, in my eyes from the booth, he absolutely was. But yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm just over here on the end. Going, okay. If this is if this is the kind of response hey, I'm going to get, i got to bring you guys out more often, definitely, for yeah, sure. Smoothest <laughs> guy, jeez. Great stuff. Well, hey, congratulations to all of you. Enjoy your week off. Look forward to seeing you guys at Red, but thank you so much, Jet. Uh, yeah, you know, um, the uh, practice went good this morning. I was able to qualify first, and, um, you know, it's always good to start your day like that. And uh, went into the first moto, and I got into second, and then had a little bit of a tip over and um, ended up third behind um, Eli and Chase. And then that second moto, I was up front again, and uh, just honestly, I wasn't riding very good. I got past, uh, I passed Dunge, and then... Um, he ended up getting me back, and uh, I was trying. I was kind of like uh, trying to hang on to that train right there in fifth place, and uh, I had a tip over again, and um, just was kind of by myself, <laughs> just trying to fend, um, fend off the uh, guys behind me. But yeah, three five on the day. It's uh, it's not bad. Podium's nice, um, but riding wise, it's a little bit frustrating. But um, that's how it is. Yeah, first moto, I had the luxury of being able to ride my own lines, and it felt like a practice moto for me. So that was obviously really good. Um, and when you're out front on a track like this, you're able to be a little bit more creative and are able to take your time on places that are rough and also charge in spots that are not. So that was nice. Second moto, didn't really ride that great, I didn't feel like, um, especially in the beginning. I was just kind of bulldogging a little bit and not riding super smooth. So... Um, that was a little bit difficult, and then I made a mistake. When I got by Kenny, he got me back, and then Eli got me. So I got sucked up, and then actually, I think Dunge almost got me too. So I kind of had to kick it in gear there and got Kenny, and then uh, Eli was pretty far ahead at that point. So I just tried to ride as hard as I could, but um, obviously it wasn't enough to win. Uh, so it was, uh, it was a good day for me. Obviously, first moto was a dream moto, um, and then second moto was a good fight. So looking forward to... Uh, going in the week off and then having my own race to Red Bud. No problems today pivoting that bike. Some very impressive passes. And again, when you went into that mode with about 12 minutes to go in both mo uh, motos, I believe, uh, it just seemed like the ability to come to the next level was very easy and very natural on the track to you. It seemed like the track suited your style. Yeah, I'll, I'll say that for, for Moto 2, you know, those things. But Moto 1, to be honest, I was kind of caught off by quite a few lines i was missing some lines and on the one far end of the track i was you know missing an outside rut and uh you know jason got right really close to me again over there um and i felt like i was kind of just fighting fighting the ruts in that moto one and the moto two um i felt like i i had the better lines on the track and was able to to make things work and make the lines you know just just feel right and uh just had, just had good riding in moto two so um that was that was nice for us to, to finally come forward with a win. Okay, so that's our press conference. My gosh, the Lawrence brothers battle in Moto2, about as good as you will ever see. Half a second, the final margin of victory. About the only thing better than that is peach flavor. Who knew? Peach flavor is good. Peach, yeah, peach yeah, is good. Peach is good. Sorry about your luck. I agree, peach is better. <laughs> half and half's not bad. To be fair, they're all great. All yeah, of them are great. That's why we got these fans on the show. Uh, you watch that Lawrence brothers battle? I did. It was it was super good. Yeah, I mean they passed each other like five times. 
you have a favorite in that group or what? You know, I really wanted to see Hunter bring it home, but yeah, you know, Jed is just on a whole nother level. So yes. Oh, you were pulling for Hunter a little bit. Yeah, Hunter won one. That's what and we want. What about Kenny and uh, Dungey? Dunge? Yeah. What the heck? Dude. <laughs> yeah, I don't know where Dunge come from. I mean, he's always been he always been like good and fit, but like he was killing it today. That was yeah. awesome. Super, super good today. That was retro. That was retro Dunge. That was unbelievable. Uh, I heard you were here all day for this show. All day long, I just waited just for this so that way I could tell my friend Dylan Smith I made it on this show and he didn't. Suck it, Dylan Smith. <laughs> Let's get to our post-race media corral and talk to more riders. Yeah, today went pretty well. Um, I went 6-9 for 8th. Uh, definitely doesn't show how great my riding was today. I felt like my riding was on point. Um, bike setup, we changed some stuff before the first moto. Uh, I feel like we hit it out of the ballpark, hit it spot on. I felt comfortable. I could charge. Uh, had great lines all day. Um, just need to work on my starts. Being down in the first turn does not help you when you're riding good. So I had to pass a lot of dudes that second moto uh, to get up to ninth and getting a lot of lappers when you're back there too. Well, my whole day, uh, I did not sleep good last night. I felt like I woke up every, every few seconds. Uh, then my alarm went off and got up it was yeah normal day breakfast was good uh track was I, I didn't make it here last year i was out with injury so i took a little bit to get used to the track and first moto is like first practice was squirrely snarly uh this track is like disorienting like some of the off cameras are just insane it's like you just it's like oh there's woods there like i'll probably be in the woods like later today like it's gnarly really gnarly uh yeah, but first moto, got off to a decent start. I was in like fifth or so and just started making moves through the pack. And honestly, I can't wait to watch it back because I was, I was going pretty good <laughs> and it uh, feels good. So, yeah, proud of the team, proud of my bike. Uh, made a mistake right around halfway and then was struggling a little bit with my line selection and just really – need to stay engaged in the race and when you get out front it's so easy to let the mind wander it's like this day and age it's hard to hold you know attention for 30 seconds let alone 30 you know plus minutes so uh it's not easy but we're gonna learn and grow from it and then second moto not as good as start. well i nailed my start but unfortunately i had some star yamahas don't don't tell anyone else but yeah they were on either side of me and they got me and uh, some of the kids, some of the Star Yamaha kids, man, they, they really send it. So it's like, you know, if we're, you're bar to bar, they have a wheel on you. You really can't, like, push it because you know they're not letting off. Yeah, I just kind of got my bearings at the early spot. Didn't make a whole lot of great passes early on. And started, started laying down good laps, started getting faster, faster. And then uh, had another little tip over in the same exact corner. And so that was frustrating. But mounted another charge, was able to pass uh, Hamaker and Shimoda, and found some really good lines. And uh, <laughs> yeah, I it, can't argue with the speed, can't argue with the fitness, can't argue with the bike setup, can't argue with um, a whole lot. But it's tough when I feel like I could have won uh, potentially the last three races. And, you know, between bike issues and mic issues it's been uh it's been tough so we're gonna we're gonna keep it moving though because we got too many positives to focus on the negatives so that's it mic drop yeah dude it was a uh, good overall i still struggle in qualifying but we're gonna we're gonna be better um kind of just clicking off uh, my laps and getting adjusted everything team's been awesome really happy with the bike uh just harnessing my inner 374 tom Jernay energy um I had big time Janae energy actually today. I've met Michael Janae, Mama Janae, everyone, so it's cool. Um, but yeah, it's, it's, been a, it's been a lot of fun. Um, living out in California is different for me. I'm an East Coast guy, but we're making it work, and uh, I'm going to just you know spend my summer out there and kind of take it all in. Big strides. Like, we're talking from going like mid-90s to like low 80s on, yes. on the course, you yes. know? Yes. Uh, no, but I mean, it was definitely uh, good improvements. Um, first moto, great start. Tightened up a little bit, didn't ride the best, but we had a we had a great start, so the result was good. Second moto didn't get the best starts, but um, felt good. Um, made a late late charge there at the end to try to, to try to do something with Christian, and uh, unfortunately, 
just kind of made a, a stupid mistake and, and Barsha got around me on the second to last corner. But overall wise, um, you know, seventh step in the right direction, like you said. And um, yeah, we'll just go back to California and go back to work. I was really happy with the day for sure. Um, you know, starting off at practice, we, uh, we were a little bit closer in the time to the front guys, which was encouraging. Uh, first motor got a terrible start. But the cool thing was I was able to work my way through the pack and times looked really good and the speed was good. So if I could have got a, if I can clean up my start for the second moto, which which I was able to, I got the whole shot and uh, just run some clean laps. Start off a little flat. Those guys got some intensity and, you know, between Kenny and Chase and Eli uh, and Jason, uh, they came around me in a hurry. So I was like, man, I better, I got to pick up the pace. And I settled into a good groove. Uh, kind of hung right there with them. They, uh, for sure, um, Eli broke away a little bit. But um, got passed by Kenny on the last lap too, uh, with with like a few corners to go. And uh, but but overall, really positive. And you know, the one thing is, we made the progress with the bike this week, which was really nice, and it, and it translated to the race weekend. So, um, you know, we got a weekend off and get ready for it, Redbud. All right, all right, Brandon. Hey, so uh, I pretty much followed you around the whole first moto. So what what was your take on that? I mean, I saw it was number twelve. And honestly, I was wondering if you if you were actually gonna pass me. I didn't I didn't know what was gonna happen, but my goal was to literally just honestly just to hold you up. <laughs> well, it, the thing is, like I, the first half of the moto, I felt like I was taking every single different line than you, and you were pulling away from me, and so I was like, all right, I'm done. I'm I'm gonna take every single line Brandon's hitting, and I was able to to creep up on you, but it's like. I got the, I got the good lines. Yeah, I, I, I honestly <laughs> I struggled really bad on the track today. It was a uh, it, it was not fun for me out there. See, I, I had a I liked it today. I don't I don't know what it was, but uh, the the RM Army was we were feeling it today. So hopefully we can keep her going. That's why we like Brandon. He lightens the mood. Yeah, I mean um, I I was enjoying a lot of the track this morning. I had a good pace on the. On the lap times, which I was working already for a week because I was struggling a lot with uh, fast laps lately. And then, yeah, we get a good time, not so far from the guys in front, like fourth place. So um, I was very happy with the, with the speed. And then uh, first moto didn't get such a great jump, but then I was like probably in the corner. I, first two corners, I was good. I was like probably five. Then I dropped to six, seven. I say, okay, I need to be a little bit more quick this time on the first laps because everybody, I always, every, the race before, I always lost the play, places in the first laps. But then I trying to get around Craig, I, I was going, I missed the, the, the ski jump, you know, on the pit, pit lane area. And I arrived to the corner so fast. I was like, oh, this is too fast. So I was just trying to get on the brakes a lot. And he, he, of, of course, I mean, he keep his line and, uh, I bump into him and uh, I put down the knee so hard that uh, I felt like, oh, this is not, not going to be good because my knee is already a little bit from a few years not, not doing well. So I was like riding like in eight, nine plays and I say, okay, I start feeling like, you know, the, the knee gets a little bit swollen and swollen and swollen, fluid. So I was like, okay, I better just ride, you know, out and try to put some ice and get, get ready for the second moto. But then, since I was out, I say, oh, no, this is not like GPs, you know, that your gate pick going to be now the last one. So it was my mistake. And then I went to, to the last moto, you know, in the, in the last on the gate. And uh, also with the knee in this condition, I, I tried to get a good start. But the first corner, I get pushed out, like out of 20, 20 plays with the start. And then, uh, yeah, with the knee in this condition I, and the track so rough, I say, OK, this is not the day uh, we expect, and uh, let's move on. It was nice, you know, this experience, and um, but yeah, it's time to to move on. Man, I haven't been here in three years. I got hurt last year, so I wasn't here, and then we had COVID, so it was 2019. Last time I raced here was on a JGR Suzuki 250F. So that was now I'm on a Yamaha 450, so it can't get any different. Uh, but it was, it was good. Uh, it's 450 class ain't ain't easy, that's for sure, and. Qualified 12th, um, first moto, had a really bad start. Almost got in a first turn pile up, like Kenny and AP kind of sandwiched me. And I came from like 35th to 15th. And uh, second moto, I was kind of right around that 10th group the whole time, McElrath, me and Marshbanks. And we had actually had a really good battle. Um, and then kind of got in, and flappers got in the way towards the end and I was able to get uh, 11th. So 
not my best day, but I mean, this 450 class ain't easy, and I'm just trying to get better every weekend, and I feel like we're getting there. And, we're knocking on the door for a top 10, so we're getting close. Yeah, it was tough for me today. I was kind of battling my bike setup a little bit, just wanting to get more comfort, but we don't have much time to really test, so I, I just fell back to what I know, and, and uh, with the way the track de developed, I had a tough time today, but what definitely didn't help me was in the first moto, I got a really horrible start, and with a track like this, how ruddy it gets, how rough it gets, and a lot of these off cambers and whatnot, uh, it makes it really tough to pass, so that didn't help, and, and it's tough to get in a, in a good flow. Uh, me and Dunge were battling the whole way, which was which was super gnarly and, and really fun, but I just wasn't really able to move forward and didn't ride as loose as I wanted to. Um, so every time I came up on some faster riders, it was tough for me to really make something happen and, and make a pass, so I only ended up in seventh. But for the second moto, I, I wanted to regroup because we are going into an off weekend, and um, obviously I lost a lot of points in the first one. So I grabbed a much better start in the second one and, and was leading for a little bit and, and kind of... Um, exchange lead with, with Chase and myself a couple of times, but I really I knew I had to kind of pick my battles, and that's exactly what I did. I was super timid in, in some areas, and, and once Eli passed me, I was trying to stay with him, but uh, he was going too fast, and then Chase passed me as well, and, and even Dunge passed me at some point, and then I stalled it on top of the hill, and, and it seems like things were really falling apart, but I didn't let that get me down, and uh, made a charge again with two laps to go, and put in some, you know, at least for what what my body and what my what my bike gave me, I really tried to, to push hard again and <clears throat> reeled in Dungey and uh, was able to make the pass happen with just a couple of turns to go. So that was my goal, and I'm really happy that I made that happen, just to minimize the damage. I know we lost a bunch today, but I'm not going to let that get me down. We're going into an off weekend, and uh, I'm going to work hard, but uh, you know, have a little bit of a mixture and try to make the off weekend feel like an off weekend as well. So uh, I'm excited for the off weekend, and we're going to continue working, and hopefully we can get some points back at some point. All right, uh, let, uh, crowd's going crazy over here. All right, um, we're getting better. We had fans last two races. Your challenge is to come visit us at Redbud. This is not a big ask. This is not a big ask. I don't even know if these guys paid for these, so I don't want like a. You did? Maybe. I, I might have gotten us in trouble if like 1,500 people show up under the tent looking for Twisted T at Redbud, but it's Redbud. Crazy things happen. Um, hey, do you think Dunge can suddenly win one of these things? Is that like in play now? I'd say so, yeah. I mean, if he, he's consistent. I mean, he's always been consistent. He's never been, like, first, second. Like, he's always been consistent podium every race, every race, every race. The man's been out for, what, ten years? Five years. <laughs> like it. Five years? <laughs> five years? Yeah, he's been out for five years. He comes back, he's just killing it, right back in it. But, again, like I said, he's always been about fitness. He's, uh, he's stayed, he stayed, he's kept his fitness up the whole time he's been out. And right now, he's just killing it. He's riding good. The KTM guys, they got the bike pretty much dialed in for him. You know what I mean? I'm a KTM guy myself, but you know, whatever. I think you figured out my plan here. I'm just getting enough fans so I don't have to talk anymore and you guys can just do it uh, for me. Uh, Eli Tomac won. You guys see me Eli Tomac fans here? Yeah, Eli Tomcat kicked ass today, man. Yeah, dude, he was, he was doing amazing. He did. That's four winners in four rounds. Um, thanks for watching our show. We'll see you at Red Bud and uh, I'm going to have more Peach Twisted Tea. Got anything to say in French? C'était une très belle journée, mais j'ai... Uh, we do not have Dylan Ferrandez right now. They're very upset, but maybe we'll get him back. Uh, yes. Let's go, Marv. Ferrandez. We got to get these dudes back. All right. It's been a great uh, Twisted T post show. I feel like we're bringing the vibe back. We'll see you at Redbud.